get it. <laughs> mm, uh, oh, <laughs> no, no, I'm not exactly running late to work. I'm more um, doing some work from home. Working from home? We're not working from home anymore, Laz. Sorry. We're all here in this great big building where you like to come and sit for eight hours a day. And every other week we're forced by law to give you money because you graced us with your presence. I, I understand. I'm, I'm so sorry. I'm, no, I'm, I'm on my way right now, Miss Wright. What did you just say to me? Because it sounded like you said, gone guy pray. And you better be on your hands and knees praying or oh, if you think you can get away with mocking me. Have I got oh. news for you? Um, no, no ma'am, I would, I would never mock you. I have, I have nothing but the utmost respect for you. Uh, uh Chloe, honey, what do you, uh, <laughs> hey, um, Chloe, honey? When, uh, what in the world's going on? Just what it looks like, Mr. Coding Genius. I'm dumping off things you had at my place and picking up things I have here at yours. No, I, um, I get that, but, uh, if I didn't know any better, I think you'd break up with me. Lazarus, are you listening to me? Um, yes, yes, ma'am, you are, you are correct, 100% correct. See, right there, you have no spine, no ambition, you're going nowhere, Laz. Fight for your job, for your talents. I understand, it won't, it won't happen again. And mister, if you don't get to the office soon, you can forget about having any breaks for at least a month. But, but... But baby, that's for our smoochy time. <laughs> um, so you know I've been I've been looking forward to our first kiss. Yeah, me too, sweetie. Everything okay? Yeah. It's kind of hard to see without those. Little better. Um. <laughs> How about before smoochy time? Um. How about we? Uh -huh. How about you? Uh, we uh -huh. freshen up a little bit. Okay. No, you have to. <laughs> Not anymore. Smoochy time! I hope you just got hit in the head with a sledgehammer because there is no world where I'm gonna be seen with you at smoochy time. Um, no, 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 ne ne not you, ne never, no, sorry. What do you mean you never? Let me tell you, Lazarus, I find your comments highly offensive. Whenever I was your age, I had a job. I had already bought a house. I worked my tail off. I worked 10 hours a day instead of eight hours. Please stop. Stop? Oh boy, I'm just getting started, mister. Arrive to work on time. Professionals get the job done. Professionals come into work and they're not late. See, you're about to blow another opportunity all because of your stupid app. I know it doesn't look like much now, but the app can really help people, Chloe. Except you and me. Laz, you don't even know how to make it. Make money. <laughs> Do I look like the type of person who wants to be broke all of her life? No, but... Clo <laughs> Chloe, it's... Chloe, I... Miss Wright, I, uh, I understand, I really do, but can I call you back in just a bit? Call me back? What kind of guy does this think... What kind... What kind of guy does he think he is? Night, I know you're gone and I can't sleep. Look, Laz, you're a good guy who deserves to be happy, but me, my happiness comes with pretty boxes and plenty of shiny things, none of which you can give me. Goodbye, Laz. 
I... I don't know who you think you are trying to tell me you're gonna call me back. Call me back? You said to call me back? Chloe! Chloe. I'll, just, I'll just save you the trouble. You're fired! Hey, no, 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 no. See, we can work through. I'm fine with that. Chloe. Okay, okay. Um, I, 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 I will say enough for myself. I'll do whatever you want me to do. I don't know what it is. Chloe, Chloe, babe, come on. Back up. We can work this out. We're fine. This is, this is just, a, this is just one of those fights that we have. Like, like, like when I got you that foundation you didn't like. Chloe. 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 Selfie? Yeah, yeah. Thanks. Of course. Lazarus, get over here. Okay, how do you know? Did did Chloe say something? Did she say my name? Like, did she say something to you? Tell me. Um, let me think. Uh, she did mutter something about some loser who kept her his dirty underwear in the back of her car, and she threw him on the street and ran him over on the right. way out. Was, no, I get I get that for yeah, sure. Yeah, everyone saw. Yeah. Um, she didn't say anything else. Like, uh, like. Oh, Lazarus, I still love you. Or like, oh, Laz, we'll get back together. Something like that. None of those words were said by anybody okay. in this area. Okay. Um, That's but great. I, I could use your assistance. Okay. Um, Jesus. Huh? I, My name is Jesus. Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> like Jesus, like son of God, our savior. Yeah, they're one and the same. Okay. Jesus, right, okay. Uh, well, you, you're not like meaning Jesus, are you? No, no, just plain old Jesus. Yeah. And uh, you, Lazarus, you're meant to help fulfill my mission here. Uh, um, I'm sorry, Lazarus of the 918. Helping the Jesus. Yeah, 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 that's it. Okay, <laughs> okay, I get it. Yeah, 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 steel pan drummer. He's mic'd up, he has a camera. You guys hide these so well. I, there's no cameras here, man. Uh, I mean, our father is all knowing and seeing and he looks down here all the time. He actually gets right. a kick out of it. Especially those like synchronized dance videos where everyone's like, I think they're dumb, <laughs> he thinks they're a hoot. Um, do you, do you wanna go somewhere else to talk? Uh, I can't afford people thinking I'm crazy. Crazy. Yeah. I, sure. What did you have in mind? My apartment's just like right down the. Are you sure you're not gonna like rob and like, like send me to the great beyond? No, man. I'm, I'm Jesus. Okay. Uh, and I checked. You still have plenty of time left. Just make it a surprise. Come on. Get a surprise. Don't look at them. Sandals off, please. I can see why you're so concerned if uh, <laughs> someone wanted to steal all your things. It's a work in progress. Okay, so just how am I supposed to help you? Uh, I don't know yet. My first job was to find you, and now we just wait for a sign. <laughs> a signs, okay. I got some signs for you. Uh, I was dumped. I was just fired. And, oh yeah, I met Jesus. So, there's a sign for you. Huh? I guess now we get to hang out, you know? Get to know each other. Okay, hang on, wait. I thought you only came back for like the end of times, you know, to judge everyone. <laughs> judge everyone? I, I mean, I guess I can do that. Here we go, uh, good, good, bad, good. He should be in jail. Okay, I thought you were Jesus, not Santa Claus. Do I need to be worried about the end of the world or what? Oh no, no. You don't have to worry about that. We have plenty of time. Plenty of time, okay. So then why are you here if you're Jesus? I come down to Earth all the time. Uh, although it's been a while since I've been to the States. Uh, last time I went to DC, oh, uh, never again. I hear that a lot. I must have really messed up to get Jesus down here. <laughs> no, it's not like that at all. You possess something special. It's a skill or a purpose. You just don't know what it is yet. Has Chloe heard that? We'll only know the mission when it becomes clear. Okay, well, I got nothing else going on, so I guess I'm... 
Guess I'm helping Jesus. Yeah, that's what I want to hear. Well, let's get started. Um, first things first. Uh, let's order a pizza, huh? Pizza? Really? Yeah. No, no. <laughs> okay, no. First, we need something about those clothes. Uh, how are you wearing a tunic in this weather? It's you. You get used to it. Okay. Well, after the clothes, we got to get a job. Job? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Rent, pizza, all that takes money, and I'm gonna get real tired of fish loaves and wine. <laughs> That's two very different situations. Okay, after the clothes, we gotta do something about your hair. Nothing major, right? Just a little, well, I, know, I know I have a few split ends, but just a little at the edge, kind of square everything out. We'll see, I know a guy. Laugh, laugh. Come on, Jesus. This feels good to me. Friendship can't be big. Never thought of knowing the lesson you were showing. I think we can agree. I know what you need. Bring you to the future. Let me be a tutor. Speed it up, speed it up, speed it up, keep it going. Maybe that, maybe this, try it on, feel the flow. Mix it up, mix it up, mix it up, get to glowing. That's the one, there it is, check the beat. Okay, so I'm willing to do a trade out with you. Um, you're going to help me with my social media yes. in exchange for helping your friend out today. Yes. And what was his name anyway? His name. <laughs> yeah. Um, his name is G. G's. Uh, okay. G's. G's. Hi. I'm so sorry to bother you, but she saw you from across the room and. Well, she just wouldn't stop asking until I let her come over and say hi to you. It's, it's quite all right. Hi. <coughs> I'm sorry. That's all right. I know who you are. I know who you are too, Lily. <laughs> what can I do for you? My mommy has cancer, and I was hoping you would pray with us to help her not have it anymore. Gosh, I am so sorry. I, I had no idea that that's what she wanted to talk to you about. It's, uh, it's quite all right. What are the doctors saying about your prognosis? They're, they're very optimistic. You should be too. I also have a good feeling about it. Thank you. But uh, I think Lily's right. I think we should all pray together. Sorry. Dear Lord, our Heavenly Father, please hear Lily's prayer. Go ahead. Dear Lord, please help make my mommy well again so we can play and enjoy everything mommies and kids are supposed to. I would do anything for that, Lord. Clean my room, be nice to my little brother, whatever it takes. Dear Lord, please answer Lily's prayers 
and the prayers of all the other families looking for your comforting assurance. Amen. Amen. <laughs> You're a brave little girl, Lily. Thank you. And I have a good feeling that your prayers are gonna get answered. <laughs> you know what? I'm not sure why, but I think so too. <laughs> What just happened in there? A and don't you think that goes and proves that you're the Jesus? <laughs> you mean Lily? <laughs> yes, little girl coming up to you asking for you to pray for her mom? That stuff only happens in scary movies. <laughs> what? Relax, haven't you prayed for someone before? Well, okay, yeah, but not in the middle of having my hair cut. That's supposed, that, that stuff is supposed to be done in private, okay? What do you mean in private? I don't know. You, you could have gone outside around the corner or, uh, I don't know, gone to the restroom. Just not in front of God and everybody else. <laughs> I'm sorry, all right? Next time a little girl comes up to me and asks me to pray for her sick mother, I'll make sure we run into the broom closet so we don't embarrass you. Okay. <sighs> oh, Lazarus. That was so good. Thank you. Glad you enjoyed it. So, what do we do now? We sleep. But what about our purpose? Um, yeah, tomorrow. Tomorrow we'll uh, go to this pastor I know. And you're sure this guy can help us? Yeah, 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 if, uh, if anyone can, he's the man. So this man, Can. you believe this man is a, a man of faith? Yeah, he's a good guy. Um, his dad was actually the pastor before him. Jesus! Jesus, come on, you can't do that to a guy. I'm sorry, I hope I didn't scare you. Oh. you know, a lot of people think this complexion comes naturally, but it actually takes a bit of work. A lot of people are surprised by that. Heart attacks come naturally too. Hey, is it cool if I use this? No, no, not Chloe. Um, smoochy time. Smoochy time? That sounds like a fun game. Can we play? No. Never. Not with you. No, um, you can use this one if you want. All right. All right, bye. Thank you, Laz. Uh-huh. What an odd duck. I heard that. Okay, um, Jesus. I have had a long day, a lot of emotional upheavals, so why don't we call it a night and start on this mission of yours first thing tomorrow morning. You're probably right. Man, I am pushed. <sighs> yeah, it takes a lot of effort to ride around that vehicle of yours. My hands are sore from holding on. <laughs> well, Good night, Jesus. What? What? What is this? It's a couch. <laughs> I know it's no fancy manger, but should be better than an overpass. Wait a second. I hate to do this, but I'm Jesus. You know, the son of God. Yeah. Surely you can offer me something better than this. You hate to do this right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. Why don't, why don't you take my bed? Oh, what a guy. I knew you had it in you. Yeah. Are you sure you don't mind? Uh, well, Thank you. <laughs> You're the best. Yeah. Dumped by my girlfriend. I heard, why not get kicked out of my own bed by Jesus Christ of all people? I can hear you. No, I can hear you. I can still hear you. God! You know, he doesn't like it when you use his name in that context. Hey, Laz, don't forget to pray. It's in private, just how you like it. Oh my, okay. Um...
ladder. Yeah, get on up the ladder. No, it's your turn. Get up the ladder. Whoa, can't you own it? I got you, man. Well, I got you, Henry. Don't worry about it. All right, it's cool. Just hang on. Now, let's get this hung up. Lazarus Young! It's been a month of Sunday since I've seen you. Hey there, Pastor Mark. Come here, man. Oh, whoa. whoa, whoa. Is, that, is that old man Lewis? Yeah. Mr. Henry Lewis. Man, he's still here. He's been here forever. Yeah, he was been here since when my dad ran the church. Uh, yeah, Pastor Mark, I'm so sorry to hear about your loss. Well, I appreciate that, Les. But hey, tell me, um, what brings you here today, and who's your friend? He looks kind of familiar. Well, I mean, that actually is, was why we come. I was, I was wondering if you could help us out with something. Uh, you, uh, you looking for a job? No, 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 no. He's just uh, actually yes, yes, sir. Um, Pastor Mark, uh, I am looking for work. Let me see. I don't know if we need anything around here, but. Okay, okay. Oh my goodness, Henry, are you okay? Hey, I think, I think, I think, I think I can get back up there and we can finish this up. Yeah. 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 He'll be all right. He's a tough old bird. You better believe it, because this ain't nothing but what happened to me in the war. Really? You're a war hero, Henry. So, Henry, looks like you're going to be an injured reserve for a while. Uh, Listen, would it be okay if Laz's friend helps out and fills in for a while? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I guess. I guess. Uh, uh oh. Thank you, Mr. Lewis. Here you go. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate, uh, I really appreciate you letting me take over for a little while. If it helps at all, uh, I have a good feeling about this. So go home, relax, and enjoy your time off. Okay. Uh, By the way, uh, what size are these overalls? Uh, oh, uh, thir 32, 32. Those are my measurements exactly. I let you burn. Perfect. Oh. oh. You have a good rest of your day. Okay. Okay. Hey, in all the excitement, I didn't even catch your name. It's <laughs> um <clears throat> It's Jesus. Jesus, huh? Yeah. No wonder you look so familiar. <laughs> hey, 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 Laz, are you still good with those computers? Because your mom's always bragging about what all the cool things you can do with them. Uh, yeah, yeah, still do a lot of websites or, yeah. and social media marketing mainly. Good, good, because we need some of that right now around here. Would you want to come on and do some work too? Yeah. Good, then it's settled. You'll do our web stuff and you'll be our new handyman. Perfect. <laughs> hey, Jesus, you got any experience with carpentry? I've dabbled. <laughs> of course you have. You both start tomorrow. Perfect. Sorry to keep you waiting, Jack. There was a little... I was helping Mark in the gym, so... So how are you doing? I'm fine, Serenity. Thanks for asking. Uh, well, will, will Mark be joining us? Oh, he said he was, but... He was with a couple of guys earlier, so I'm, I'm sure he'll be right with us in just a bit. What do you say we, we just get started? You always seem to exercise the better judgment when it comes to executing a cooler business frame of mind. Okay, then I, let's get right to it. <clears throat> As you know, the bank has been doing all we can to help you folks stay on your feet. Yes, and Mark and I appreciate everything you've done for mm -hmm. us. Yeah. Um, can I, can I get you something, Jack? Do you want I, a coffee or a water? No. I better just say w what I came to say. You know what? That sounds serious. Maybe, maybe we should wait for Mark. Do you want uh, me to go get him? Uh, no, no. Um, um can I, I help you pick up your papers? No, no. I, I, I got it all. I'm, I'm sure you that won't be necessary. Um, as I was saying, we at the bank have extended the church a sizable amount of money, even going past when uh, Mark's father, Pastor Wyatt, was here. God, God rest his soul. We are nearing a place where we are comfortably going to be able to catch up on what we owe. Believe me, I, I, I'm so glad to hear that. But the board, 
has a difference of opinion. Jack, you know what we've been through. We used to go to this church. You know firsthand what we've been up against. Uh, nonetheless, you and Mark have 45 days before the bank forecloses and uh, takes over the property. And the board has other buyers wanting to buy the property and pay cash for it right now. Is that a fact? Oh. And some of those other interests wouldn't be wow church, would it? <laughs> now, Mark, you know I'm not at liberty to divulge that information. Jack, you and I go way back. Yeah, since first grade, I'm fully aware of that. Now, how many times during that time did I save you from bullies? There, there, were, there, were, a f there were a few. There were many. My God, Jack, you own the bank. But I'm sorry, Mark, Lord. I, I have, I have uh, investors and a board. Yeah, and big depositors like Wow Church. You guys have 45 days. That's the best I can do. I, I'll see you soon. Come to church on Sunday? Well, actually, Mark, we've been attending... Yeah, let me guess. Wild Church. And by the way, you missed a button. Wow. Real mature, Mark. <laughs> Was all that really necessary? Probably not, but I thought we were friends. Oh, we are. But what he's being forced to do is business. How bad is it? It's really bad, Mark. I probably should have came back sooner. I mean, truthfully, I should have never left at all. You cannot beat yourself up forever, okay? But we do need to do something. And the sooner the better. We do have that meeting with that church consultant. Maybe, maybe he's got a miracle in that briefcase of his. <laughs> yes. And at this point, I think I'm open to anything. Me too. Thank you for coming out today. It's good to see you. Right, good to Aren't see you, you a too. big one? No. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> well, we are in desperate need of making some changes around here to help increase our congregation. Oh, I'm, I'm Serenity Phillips, and this is my husband, Pastor Mark Phillips. Well, so, listen, this church has been in our family for three generations. First with my father, then my grandfather, who built the church. If you don't mind, might I be blunt? Well, we did ask you here to help, so by all means, uh, there probably isn't anything we wouldn't consider at this point. Maybe we start with a big renovation. I mean, brighter colors, new fixtures, maybe even get your cross. You know, y'all don't have a cross up there. Know how many people come into a church just for the cross? And we do that in one or two months, and it will be hopping, I guarantee it. Unfortunately, we just don't have the time or the budget for that project right now. Not to worry, not to worry. They do not call me by God Byron for nothing. <laughs> Excuse my language, but what you're saying is you need something quick. The sooner the better. All righty, all righty. Uh, never fear, Byron is here. Uh, I got something that's surefire, but it's got to stay in the room. Y'all got to make a solemn oath that we do not tell anybody about this. I mean, this is top secret. Now, I guarantee that this will pack them in. People come all over the world to see this, and I promise you'll get media coverage out of it. Wow. What? What do you mean? You ready for this? Feast your eyes on this. ta -da! A simula crumb. That's right. I got a guy who can take a water leak and turn it into the most beautiful picture of Jesus crying. And for a little bit extra money, a little bit extra money, you can get him to continuously cry a tear. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, okay, I get it, I get it. You guys are on the up and up, and I appreciate it. We're gonna try something different, okay? Now, uh, don't give up on me yet, don't give up on me now. Now, you know what, I just thought of this. Nobody's ever even seen this, okay? This is the greatest thing ever, okay? What we're gonna do is we're gonna try to work out something bigger and better than I've ever done, but I guarantee it's gonna work. Okay, we're listening. Oh, we can't listen to this. Okay, we got to feel this one. Let me have your hands, let me have your hands, okay? Y'all grab hands, y'all love each other, y'all in love. All right, all right, now close your eyes. Every eye closed, every eye closed. Mm -hmm. Now, see yourself in the chapel. Not an empty seat in the house, everyone's filled with joy as they hang on to your every word. And the choir chimes in, emphasizing every one of your words. Can you feel that? I feel something all right. I feel like somebody's pulling my leg. That is the Holy Spirit. The best is yet to come. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. The collection plate starts to be passed around. Money flies through the air. Everyone reaches deep into their pockets and bags to give all they can during the offering. There's laughing and applauding, applauding and laughing, all in excited anticipation. Excited anticipation? Excited about what? <laughs> excited about giving money? In all of my years at the church, I've never seen any congregation act as excited as you're making this sound. Please let him finish. You got to believe, y'all. Close your eyes back again. Mm-hmm. The collection plates begin to make their way to the front of the church through the parishioners' outstretched hands. Once at the front, their contents poured into the larger basket. I see Pastor Mark in a gold suit. He approaches the larger basket, then holds it in the air, slowly turning from side to side of the congregation. They're all cheering more than before. Then another basket is brought to Mark. It's filled with the names of everyone at the service that day. He holds it up to the sky and again, everyone cheers. Now Mark says, we are so blessed by the gifts you bring us uh, today. May God bless you all. Can't I get an amen? Now Mark says, it's time, it's time to select today's chosen family. Mark reaches into the basket and shouts, Victoria and Logan Owens, come on down. You and your family are the winner of this week's offering sweepstakes from the First Church of the Lotto. So, so we give the family all the offerings? No, they get half, half. I mean, minus my fees and handling, of course. Oh, of but course. It's got to make some money, and they're all going to file in each week for the big family payoff, each week. <laughs> the first church of the lotto. <laughs> kind of think of it like a high stakes bingo night every Sunday, every Sunday. It's 100% legal. I mean, I know at least 60% of it's legal, and I'll work out the 40% before we implement it here at uh, the church. Okay, I'll tell you, Mr. By God Byron, uh, we'll, we'll discuss it and get back in touch, okay? We'll, the first uh, church of the lotto. <laughs> see, I knew the preacher would like it. You were hard to sell, but I knew he'd like it. Well, okay, okay. Yeah. Oh, uh, hey, I don't have a card per se, uh, but let me leave you this, okay? That way, next time you think of Jesus, you think of by God, by. All right, we'll call ya. <laughs> hey, uh, so 
What's it gonna take to actually get you signed up for this thing? I mean, I don't ever do this, but I'll give it to you for half off. Or, how about 33 and a third percent off? Uh, well, you were no help. <laughs> the first church of the lotto. <laughs> I guess we're back at square one. No, I don't know. Well, I asked Laz and his friend to help out. Laz can do little things with the computer and get us some presents on the internet. What's his friend's name? Jesus. I think you've been hanging out with by God Byron too long. What? Seriously? Yeah, that's what he said his name was, and I figured with Henry down, it can't do any harm. Jesus. Yeah, he kind of looks like him too. Like who? Jesus. <laughs> oh, oh, we have our own Jesus now. Yeah, that's that's definitely not gonna cause any chaos around here. I mean, oh, and thank God we made a little bit of money off of By God Byron after all. Wow, <laughs> Wi-Fi on Earth is so slow. How am I supposed to check my crypto? Wait, you guys have Wi-Fi in heaven? Yeah. Wait, you guys have crypto in heaven? Uh-huh. <laughs> Unregulated, too. Huh. So, this Wi-Fi in heaven? Yeah, it's uh, super fast. Okay. Okay, I'll bite. How fast is the Wi-Fi in heaven? Have you heard of how fast angels fly? Yeah. Uh, it's referenced several times in the Bible. It's faster than the speed of light. Yeah. Okay. It's like that, except like times a thousand. You just turn it on and it goes, because... And jello blast. <laughs> And jell a blast. That's the verb for how fast <laughs> angels go. It's what we call our Wi Fi up there. So, up and download? <sighs> Easy, buddy. In heaven, we don't like to say the word download. <laughs> Never. Okay. All right, well, I gotta get busy, so you got to uh, ooh, take notes, make a list, something. Notes? A list? Mm hmm. A list of what? Anything, I don't know, uh, something to help you find your purpose down here. So, uh, what are you working on? A thing. A thing? Really? What kind of a thing? It's just a thing. A thing. Yes. A thingy. Mm-hmm. Oh, is it a thing to meet girls? No. Okay, it's not a girl thing. Mm -mm. Is it a thing to order food? You're not gonna rest, are you? Mm -mm. Okay. Basically, it's a social media site that I made for people of faith to get on, you know, share their hopes, their prayers, uh, and then their experiences online. Now that's a thing. I, I love it. Yeah, well, Chloe wasn't too hot about it. Wait, what? Nothing. So, my hope is that, you know, people of faith can get on, share their experiences with one another in the world. That is perfect. <laughs> yeah, well, uh, I've developed several algorithms for it, so uh, it won't allow any negative comments, uh, inappropriate content, or false information. It's just a page for people to gather and cherish and love the Lord. Just, uh, how does it help bring more people to the church? For sure, for sure. So the goal is for the church to be able to upload content or like sermons uh, or different like images and videos. That way other people can kind of check it out. Just like other social media sites. Exactly. That way. Uh, when other Christians get on and see the videos or testimonials and get to know the church a little bit better before coming here, I call it FacebookFriends.com. I see we do it. It's either that or First Church of the Lotto. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, First Church of the what now? Oh, no, uh, never mind. How about you two keep going on this and I will take Jesus, yeah, to the supply closet, and okay. I'll get you started on your day. Didn't you wear that shirt yesterday? What? Yeah. Is that illegal here? Uh, I wore the same tunic for 33 years. <laughs> I'll wear the same shirt twice in a day. He thinks he's... Anyway, so this is the homepage. So right in here is the supply closet. This is where you're... Perhaps, yep. Where you'll find everything you need. Hey! <laughs> Just so you know, this door is a little tricky. Anytime you come in here, you're gonna wanna put something to keep it from swinging shut on itself, cause it will lock, and once you're in here, there's no way out but up. 
I get that a lot. Oh, right. It's Jesus. Right. Got it. Do you go by Jesus mostly? No, it's a hard Jesus. You and uh, Pastor Mark been here long? <sighs> you might say most of our lives. His dad took it from his grandfather, so it's been in our family for a long, long time. Do you mind me asking what happened? The church, it seems a little in decline, and Pastor Mark, he, uh, he, he seems a little lost. Yeah, some days more than others. All along, Mark was supposed to take over this place. Just like his dad before that, he was really tough on him to hold up to that dream. <laughs> That's like my Mark's dad. Mark's dad was a real fire and brimstone type of minister. Man, those were the days. <laughs> Boy, that man could scare any room into righteousness. Let me guess, Mark didn't want to be that kind of spiritual leader. Not at all, but when his daddy prepared him for his first sermon in front of the entire church, he demanded he do it exactly like daddy taught him. God doesn't care if you're happy. No, he does not. He only cares that you're following the course he had laid out for you. God does not care if you are happy. He only cares that you follow the path he's chosen. No, no, he does not. He only... God, spit it out, boy. God... <clears throat> Dad, I, I, I can't... I can't say this. I, I, I don't believe a word of it. It doesn't matter what you believe. It matters what they believe. If you're going to lead these followers, they need to know uneasiness and that you and you alone are ready to lead them through the spiritual storms that life is going to throw at them. Come on. God. Well, this is a very special day for me. <laughs> you know, Hadn't been that long ago that my father before me stood at this very pulpit and allowed me to lead you to the Word of God. And today, I am ready to introduce uh, to you I am ready to tell you that very soon <clears throat> that I uh, will very soon be ready to uh, do the same for my son. <clears throat> Till then, I'm afraid you're just stuck with me. <laughs> After that day, Mark went back to school and started to preach the way his heart led him until his dad passed away. Did they ever talk about that day? <laughs> they barely spoke after that. After college, Mark and I went on a mission trip. Then he started traveling with the Power Team Ministries and shortly after that, his dad got really sick. Did they have a chance to reconcile? No. Mark tried, but it didn't happen before his dad died. That's always been really heavy on Mark's heart. And then after that, Mark started questioning his own spiritual leadership. And why, why am I even telling you all of this? <laughs> Jeez, it's your easy to talk to. I mean, I mean, I mean, uh... Hey, you're totally fine. I, I get it all the time. I just, 
I wish there was something I could do to help. Uh, there is. We keep the brooms and mops and cleaning supplies over here. Office supplies are on that side, and yeah, all the work we do around here is God's work. Nice. Uh, where should I start? Uh, why don't you sweep and clean the classroom area? We have teen studies this evening. You know, I'm gonna go check on Mark and Laz. Yes, ma'am. Will do. So you really think this can connect with enough people to help rebuild the church? Well, yeah. Uh, there's still a lot of work that needs to be done though. Uh, set up, uh, content, uh, plus directing people on how to find and use the site. Uh, how can we help? Well, first, a little funding. A little. I, I think we can handle a little. And content. We'll need continuous streams of content uh, to kind of fuel the page when it first gets started. So, uh, like calendar information updates, uh, words of wisdom, and testimonials. Testimonials? Yeah, just some videos of uh, little snippets of people talking about why they like the church and when they started coming here. That way people with FOMO will see it and, you know... Oh, what? That sounds like a bad hangover or something. No, 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 no. It's, it's not bad. It's, it just means fear of missing out. So that way when they see the testimonials, they'll have the urge to be a part of everything the next time. So in our case, you're talking about like the next Sunday or the next Bible study. Exactly, yeah. So. I won't be able to shoot the videos myself just because getting this up and running is going to take all the time I have. Not to worry. I know just the perfect two to ask. Jade and Caleb. <laughs> From our teen youth group? Right. That might be just what they need to make them feel an important part of the church. You're a brave man, Pastor Mark. You have no idea what you're setting yourself up for. We'll find out this afternoon. Speak of the devils. And I mean that in the nicest way, but we better go get prepared for them. They took us off guard too many times last week. <laughs> that was pretty funny. You gotta admit when they got you with that whoopee cushion. Uh, it might have been funny if it wasn't filled with water. <laughs> <laughs> Are you coming? Yeah, I'm coming. <laughs> Okay, okay, so um, who all did your assignment for last week and ready to the Bible this week? I did. Jade, great. That's wonderful. So what passage did you find? Is it all right if I share it with the class? I think that would be perfect. Let him kiss me with the kisses of his mouth, for thy love is better than wine. <laughs> because of the Savior of thy good ointments, thy name is as ointment poured forth. Therefore do the virgins love thee. <laughs> Draw me. We will run after thee. The king hath brought me into his chambers. We will be glad and rejoice in thee. We will remember your love more than wine. The upright rejoice in thee. Okay, okay. Uh, that's good. Um, Song of Solomon, one of the most beautiful books of the Bible, but it can be a little descriptive. But, but only for committed and eventually married couples love for each other. What exactly does it mean in chapter 4? where the groom talks about the garden, honey, wine, and milk. Honey, wine, and milk? Is this about marriage or buying groceries? <laughs> <laughs> that part there, that part there is kind of about the honeymoon part of the wedding. When did you guys make it to chapter four? Well, geez, I mean, it, we read the Bible together all the time, but I, I 
don't know that we've ever read Song of Solomon together. I don't think that's what she's asking, Mark. As I mentioned, uh, Pastor and I have been together since seventh grade, and we've been together ever since. <laughs> well, except for that time in college where you said you needed a break because <clears throat> you meant Sergio. <laughs> <laughs> and we've been happily married for 20 years. We have got to hire a new pastor. Yes. Caleb, Jade, hang out for a second, please. Hey, you were the ones who told us to read from the Bible and share it in class. Oh no, this isn't about that. We we have a little favor to ask. Right, so, hey, do you guys know anything about social media content? Okay, cool. So, what we'd like you to do is shoot a few small videos on Sunday morning before or after church. You can ask the folks that come, you know, kind of, what they enjoyed, and maybe some experiences they had here at Friends of Faith. Does it have to be all churchy? No, 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 not at all. We just want something simple. Yeah, sure, we can do that. Cool, this is gonna be fantastic. Actually, you know what else? I think it's a good idea for you to do something recording every Sunday at service. So, any idea coming up why you're here yet? No, oh, not yet. Yeah, me neither. You know what we need? We need a distraction. What do you mean? What kind of distraction? I don't know, something to take our mind off it. I like it. All right. What'd you have in mind? Ever play tennis? <laughs> have I ever played tennis? I've played with the greats. <laughs> Let's do it. I did theater in high school. It's called the quick change. Get really good at it. All right. I thought we were playing tennis. Well, it's tennis like. It's pickleball. It's a fun, fast, friendly game the whole family can enjoy. Alright, I think I'm ready. Oh, you better be. I don't take any prisoners on the pickleball court. Alright, let's see what you got, David of Bethlehem. Let's do it. Alright, Jesus of Nazareth, come on. Jesus is a friend of mine. Jesus is my friend. Jesus is a friend of mine. I have a friend in Jesus. Jesus is a friend of mine. Jesus is my friend. Jesus is a friend of mine. Na 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 na. My name is Lazzy and I'm great at pickleball. Your name is Jesus. You're not good at all. Really? That's the kind of sportsmanship you want to show while you're playing the chosen one? Uh, <laughs> I'll, I'll watch it. Yeah. Yeah, you might as well. It's your sir. Jesus is a friend of mine. Jesus is my friend. Jesus is a friend of mine. I have a friend in Jesus. Jesus is a friend of mine. Jesus. Jesus is a friend of mine. That's game. Pretty good at this pickleball thing. Hey, thanks. I uh, I recently got good at it to impress Chloe. Chloe? Is that the uh, underwear in the streets, girl? Yes. Thank you so much for reminding me about that. She actually introduced me to the game. Really? Mm-hmm. She was really good too. Wow. Yeah, beat the poop out of me every time we played. She was the love of my life. Okay. Hey, 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 hey. 
That's no way for a pickleball That's champion to act after you just beat Jesus. Come on, man. Fuck up. Suppose not. I, she was just really special, that Chloe. I, I feel like you're forgetting that this is the girl that threw your underwear into a very public street. Yes, yes, in front of everyone and you and God to all witness the horror. I get it. So what makes you think you were in love with this okay, girl? Okay, still. Still in love with her. All right, I get it. Why don't you tell me one happy story about Chloe? Okay. Um, yeah, okay, her birthday. Okay. Her birthday earlier this month. I surprised her with a trip to San Antonio. Wow, you really went all out. Yeah. That was... <clears throat> that was the, the trip <sighs> she said uh, she thought. She thought we might have really something special. <laughs> Wow, well did you go ahead and book the minister right then and there, huh? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Um, how about this, uh, what'd she do for your birthday? My birthday? Yeah, uh, two weeks ago. How did you know that? I'm Jesus. Also, uh, you had a birthday card on your desk back at the, uh, back at the apartment, okay. kinda gave it away. Uh, my birthday, my birthday. Uh, well she was actually busy. On my birthday, she had plans with her best friend, so they had like a girls' night out. But she did text me, and three days later, we celebrated. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. Mm -hmm. well, what'd you guys end up doing? Oh, no, 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 she brought me a cupcake with a little birthday candle on it. Good, so did you enjoy that? Well, no, I have a gluten allergy, so I, I actually, uh, I had a good time watching her enjoy it. Uh, is this the first time she ever heard of your gluten intolerance? Well, no, I only mentioned it, like, every time we ate. Oh, so we're right back to the underwear in the street. Stop, it's not like that. <laughs> Listen, Laz, you're not in love with Chloe, okay? You're in love with the idea of being in love, okay? Like, this idea of not being alone and just having someone around to impress. What do you mean? Her birthday. Yeah? Big production. Mm -hmm. All the shebangs. Yeah, yeah we're doing this and that. Yeah. How do you do? Yeah. Woo! Uh, yeah. yeah! And then your birthday. Okay. Fourth of July, no fireworks. Being in love isn't supposed to be hard. That's supposed to be the easy part of a relationship. You meet someone, your heart starts to flutter. Ah, that's easy, effortless. Okay. It's everything else that takes time. You know, every special moment you get to spend together, you're building a foundation of little miracles. Okay, well that, that sounds all good and all, but it's never worked that way for me. That's only because you haven't found the person you're meant to be with. But I have an idea. I can't wait to hear the answer to this. What's your idea? You, me, tonight, we go out, we party, and Jesus is your wingman. I can already hear that going over great with the ladies. How we doing? My name's Laz and this is my wingman, Jesus. That's the best opening line I've ever heard. Whatever. Let's right. do it. saw him wink at me I guess we'll see he seems nice and good enough for me I guess we'll see maybe he'll ask me yeah you want to go to the movies maybe take a walk under the Say, uh, we do another round. Uh, I don't know, man. Two chocolate shakes in ten minutes might be pushing your limit. Let's say, uh, let's slow down a little bit. Oh, hey, hey, hey! Don't look now, but there's a beautiful young woman at your three o'clock, and she's totally looking at you. <laughs> <laughs> Yep, she totally smiled at you. You should go over to her. 
<laughs> and, and, and do what? You better do it quick, whatever it is. She looks like a millennial. You're going to lose her interest to the internet in like five more seconds. No, no, no. I think, I think just coming out tonight was a big step. I, 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 uh, maybe next time. No, 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 no. Have you ever heard the phrase that time is of the essence? Well, now is the time and you're full of all the essence. Go talk to her, man. <laughs> I, I wouldn't know the first thing to say to her. I got it. Okay. All right. You get up, you walk over. Nay, you don't walk. You strut. strut. You strut over to her like a Portuguese prince. Okay. And you look her right in the eye and you go, Behold now, thou art a fair woman to look upon. <laughs> what? It works every time. In century one, yeah. All right, well, add your own lines. Be creative. Oh, but before you go, you got a little, you got a little oh, something yeah? right okay. there. Yeah. Could have been bad. Yeah. Okay. On the side, right? Did I get it? Yep. Yeah. Yeah, you're good to go. Okay. Ship shake. I'm gonna do it. That's the spirit. Go get it, buddy. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. Okay. Okay. Just go up. Behold, thou art a beautiful woman to look upon. Thou art a beautiful. Woman to look upon. Really? Exciting <laughs> scripture? Does Genesis usually work as a pickup line for you? <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, I, I, I'm, just, I'm just kidding. Funny though, I, I'm not sure Abram had quite as thick of a mustache. <laughs> uh, I'm so sorry, I'm not, I'm not usually so... <laughs> Let me guess. So entertaining. <laughs> I'm sorry. I should stop laughing. I'm Dee Dee. Uh, I'm 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 Laz, and I <laughs> I promise I usually shave before I uh, I meet someone new. Uh, oh, oh! It seems like your friend's getting a pretty good chuckle out of it. <laughs> I think he's had a couple too many shakes. That'll do it. Yeah. <laughs> Would you like to meet him? I'm sure he'd like you to join us. Oh, I mean, any other time I would, but uh, I would love to get to know someone who uses the Bible to pick up women. Uh, but to be honest, I, I was just about to leave. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, did I, did I do something wrong? No, not at all. I'm just in town for a job interview. Well, if it was up to me, you'd get it. Oh, there you go. Now you're getting the hang of this flirting thing. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. Like, uh, uh, what I, what I, what I meant. your leg. Look, I'll tell you what. If tomorrow goes well and I get the job, maybe I'll meet you back here again sometime. Well, I'll be praying that you do then. Les, I believe you're beginning to really hit your groove. <laughs> 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 Okay. Bye, 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 Didi. Okay. Well, don't leave me in suspense, man. What did she say? Uh, she said she's just in town for a job interview. Okay. What did you say? I told her I'd be praying for her. Here, come on, let's go. I, I got some ideas for the site I want to work on. All right. Tell you, Dee Dee, you have a very impressive resume and come highly recommended. <laughs> that is so nice to hear. Thank you for sharing that. It takes a very special person to handle those young souls and keep your composure in the middle of these difficult and challenging interactions. Well, I find that part to be the most fun part. Teenagers can really trip a person up. Tell me about it. That's the problem the current teachers have. If you don't mind me asking, what is the current instructor situation regarding the teens? My wife
wife and I. Oh, my, I, I am so sorry. I had no idea. But from the way your email read, it was as if the people handling the class right now have no idea what they're doing. That's exactly how we feel, just absolutely helpless. Oh, I'm sure you guys are doing just fine. No, no, not at all. As a matter of fact, I hope you can start right away because if I have to go back in that class one more time, I'm just gonna break down and cry. And that's not a good look for me at all. There, there, Pastor Mark. As it turns out, I can start right away. I have an aunt who lives in town and I can stay with her until I get all settled. Oh, you have no idea how happy you just made me. <laughs> oh, I guess we should go give you a tour of your new home. Oh, I'd very much like that. <laughs> and uh, that's why I switched to decaf. That's how that goes. Hello. Looks like you're getting that second chance after all. Huh? Take a look. <laughs> what, Dee Dee? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes! And by the looks of that smile, I think Pastor Mark just gave her the job of the new youth pastor. <laughs> but uh, I, thought, I thought you and Pastor Mark had a handle on that team. Oh, no. <laughs> no, no. Not at all. Was Jesus magic? Yeah, was he magic? Like those guys we see on the internet? <laughs> so those kings just left Jesus with like a bunch of birthday cash? <gasps> Did Joseph have a gambling problem? <gasps> oh. <laughs> Yes. yes! Oh my gosh! Yes! I am pumped. So awesome. <laughs> Chocolate shake? Is this any way to treat an old friend? <laughs> Wait! This is a bonus hire! You guys know each other! Actually, uh, we ran into each other last night at uh, Rooftops. Yep. These two put on quite the show. Uh-huh, yeah, uh, uh con congratulations on the, uh, the, the new job as youth pastor. Oh, thank you. We all seem to be pretty excited for me. Hey, uh, can I show you guys in the kitchen? Um, someone keeps stealing my yogurt and I kind of want to file a formal complaint. So, what do you think? Should you and I make time for that chocolate shake? Chocolate shake? Oh, <laughs> you, can, you can get whatever you want. Oh, I know, silly. I was just thinking that now that we know I'm going to be sticking around, well, a, a girl could always use a new friend. Friend zone. Oh, no, no, not necessarily. But it is the best place to start. Uh, uh, sound, sounds perfect. Here is my number. Guard this with your life. <laughs> I, uh, I, I, I will. Trust me, I will. Lord, Lord, praise on me. Now I'm telling you, we're losing our way. We're losing our way because God has a plan. No. God has a plan. Ah, that doesn't even feel right. <clears throat> son of man, prophecy against Gog. Look, son. Sovereign hold Lord, up. I son. Look. Sometimes you you're gonna have to let them know. What you feeling inside? And let them know what God Himself might be saying to them, huh? In a, with the emotions He might want to be invoking. Sound disappointed. 
get angry. Sí. Ah, yeah. <coughs> Son of man. Prophecy against Gog. Give him this message from the sovereign Lord. He has more for us. You see, the devil comes to deceive us. We're living longer on the earth, but we're not being more effective. Dad, why? I will not. Come on hey. already. Don't just use your voice. Let your emotions show on your face and your eyes. Use your hands. Use your arms. Let everyone in the room feel the word of God. You hear that? Come on. You can do it. Show me you can do it. Believer! Christian! I'm talking to you! And I'm talking to me! When you wake up in the morning, man, all hell to shake! Because the devil should be thinking, he's up again! She's up again! And he's gonna wreak havoc on the kingdom of hell! Jesus, why can't I make this feel right? Um, I think I can help. <laughs> oh, uh, there for a moment, I, I thought you were. Oh, yeah, I get it. I, I, I get that all the time. Uh, do you mind me asking? What were you working on up there? My dad. My dad always told me the only way to find your voice was to you know, be in the chapel. And your voice fills the room. And it's as if when you speak, God's speaking through you himself. And then and only then have you found your voice. All right. Well, that up there, is that you or your father's voice? Probably a little bit of him, some other pastors, to be honest with you. Okay. So what about you? What does Pastor Mark sound like? That's the thing. You know, I really have no idea, to be honest with you. Well, what do you do during a regular service? I mean, there's so few people here. I, just, it, I feel like I can talk to him individually as a friend and you know, about the things we love and care about. Th that's a great start right there. Well, yeah, that's all great and fine, and there's so few people here, but what are we going to do if, there, if we fill this place up? <laughs> When you fill this place up. Well, okay. That's just it. When we fill it up, how am I going to speak to those people as they're just one? You know, I, I just have a good feeling you're going to know what to do when that happens. Well, that's kind of why I'm doing one of my power team ministries this weekend, because that ought to get their attention. All right. Yeah, I mean, that's not exactly what I was thinking, but okay. What, what do you mean? What are y'all doing here? From 6P to 8P, I'm on the schedule for choir auditions and rehearsals. Yes, ma'am, of course. I remember that. Uh, is, uh, is there any way I could help? Well, I'll tell you, young Jesus, when the audition starts, there's going to be a whole lot of reaching out to the Lord in gospel harmonies. And I can't promise it's going to be all that melodious. Amen to that, sister. Mm, yeah. I even prayed to the Lord himself to cover his ears until we get through the night. So you two might not want to stick around. <laughs> yes, ma'am. <laughs> yes, if you can do this quickly because we don't have all nights. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Yep. Good job. Good job. Good job. All right, let's get started so we can get some auditions going. Uh, now, which one are you? Me? I'm Whitney. All right, Whitney. Do you have any experience singing or ever took any lessons? Well, I mean, if you count karaoke and videos online, then yeah, I'd say I'm experienced. Mm -hmm. uh, what makes you want to be a part of the choir? My husband. 
Your husband? <laughs> yes, ma'am. My husband. He says I have the voice of an angel. <laughs> well, we'll be the judge of that. What are you going to sing for us? Amazing Grace. Amazing grace, how sweet your sound that saved a wretch like me. I once was lost, but now I am found, was blind, but now I see. Twas grace that my- Stop! 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 Husband's a pretty good one. <laughs> you know, I think we're going to need all of these people. Otherwise, we're going to have a pretty sad choir of four. Mm -hmm. All right. Whitney, you're in. <laughs> we're going to put you in the back. Yeah, way in the back. Amen. <laughs> like um, in the hallway. <laughs> like as far back as back goes. Yeah, way in the back. All right, Ann and Caleb, you two audition together. You're going to make it anyway. Amazing grace, how sweet. from the car, put my bag down. Hey, Jesus? Yeah? Do you know um what I did with a certain piece of paper? Oh, Lassie, are you looking for this? <laughs> you know, for how important that thing is to you, I, I would have thought you would have saved it in your phone, you know, with like a cute ringtone, like, Oh, Dee Dee, my precious Dee Dee. Something like that, you know? Yeah, funny, very funny. It's just this piece of paper, she touched it. Uh, this is her handwriting. <laughs> it's, 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 like, it's like a grand romantic gesture. Oh, calm down, all right? This isn't the Dead Sea Scrolls. It's her phone number on a piece of paper. Pump the brakes on the romance there's track, just right? uh, There's just something about her, man. All right, well, wasn't it just yesterday it was, oh, Chloe, I'll never meet another one like Chloe. But this is different. Chloe never wrote down her number for me. In fact, she just said it really fast. I had to guess on like the last three digits. I called like 10 different people before getting through to her. Okay, well, uh, you do have Dee Dee's number, so are you gonna give her a call or what? I don't know, do you think I should? Uh, no, no, you shouldn't call her. Yeah. You know, I bet you that's a fake number. You know, some hotline for a fake insurance scam or some kind of non-existent rebate program for a air conditioner you never got. I didn't think of it like that. Is is that what this is? Laz, no, dude. I I talked to uh, I talked to Dee Dee at church, and she's a really nice girl. She would never do that to you. I just I uh, this is it's a fake number. Oh, Lazzy? Yeah. Uh, it's ringing. <laughs> Better answer. No. Hey, take it. I can't. Look. I don't know what to say. What, what, I don't, you, just I'm talking. Okay, fine. Hi. Hello. Friend zone hotline. Uh, funny, very funny. Well, it's important to see if you have a sense of humor. I, I, I guess that just depends on how long you plan on keeping me in the friend zone. Well, I suppose that all depends on how long it takes for you to ask me out. I think she wants me to ask her out. Hot dog! What are you looking at me for? Just say yes, say yes! Okay. Uh, um, how does Sunday night after church sound? Perfect. That's what I was gonna suggest if you ended up making me have to ask you out. 
She said yes. Hey. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> oh, dear. My boy lands. Oh. I don't know what to wear. What did I tell you? No shirt, a lot of chest hair. Do you have chest hair? I do. We can draw some on. Get your marker. We're going to have some fun. <laughs> Jane, Caleb, what are you two doing here so early? Well, you know, this is our first service to record, so... Right, yeah, we just wanted to uh, check out a couple of spots and uh, decide which is the best angle to shoot from. Oh, I love that idea, especially today, because you can capture the strongman segments of the service. Yeah, right, right. yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, totally, yes. Right. Really excited to see that. Whoa, hey, uh, where are you going with that? Well, I have another pulpit for later in the service. Why don't you let us take that and... Uh, uh, yeah, you, you, pr you probably need to get focused and ready for the big event. Thank you. How thoughtful of those guys. Mm-hmm. Did you see that? That was so nice. And they got here so early. Yeah, maybe it's a little too nice. Ooh. Oh. Oh, let me help you with that, Mrs. Elsie. Oh, praise the Lord. Of course. Jesus, I don't know what I'd do without you. You don't know how often I hear that. Mighty man of God, his spirit is strong for Jesus. Yeah! Mighty man of God, his spirit is strong for Jesus. Mighty man of God, his spirit is strong for Jesus. Everybody has strongholds. Everybody has barriers. Oh, yeah! Everybody has addictions. And they all need to be broken. And the only way to break through is through the power of God. We should even ask people or No. Not really. I just know we need to get someone to talk to us so we can get out of here. Mrs. Elsie, would you mind coming over here for a minute? A uh, choir sounded really great today, Miss Elsie. Thank you, Caleb. We can only work with the talents God gave us, some of us more than others. Uh, Mrs. Elsie, would you mind helping us on a little project? Why, of course. What's this going to be about? Uh, the church is creating a new social media site on the internet. And we need a comment or two from the people at the church telling us why they like going here. Sounds easy enough. Go ahead, ask away. Mrs. Elsie, have you met the new church handyman? Jesus? Why, just this morning as I walked through the doors of our Friends of Faith Church, he personally greeted me with open arms and helped take a load off right away. It would have been a terrible go without Jesus' help. Thank you. Thank you, Mrs. Elsie. That was perfect. Glad I could help out. Thank you for the letter, Mel 
breaks my heart to say the least Couldn't ask for a better Handsome bachelor loving me hey, oh, Thank you for the sweater Warms my heart to say the least Wouldn't ask for another Handsome bachelor loving me Cause it's the little things you do That make me fall for you it's Your order will be out soon and if you don't mind me saying, you two make the cutest couple. Thank you. Wow. I mean, can you believe it? From milkshake mustache to being here for our first date. Uh, yeah. I, I wish I was a little bit more alluring. But... Are you kidding? That was so cute. I, I mean, I'm going to tell that story for the rest of my life. Right. Cute, just, uh, just like a puppy. Aww, but puppies are so lovable. <laughs> uh, uh, so, so what makes you want to be a youth pastor? Well, I mean, I guess I feel like kids have a hard enough time figuring out themselves already, much less learning about faith. No, yeah, I can see that. So I kind of want to be the one to help bridge the gap by giving them ideas that they'd be more interested in learning about. Ideas that might help them see that believing can be fun and empowering and helpful. No, yeah, I love that you see it like that. <laughs> well, what about you? The dream is to create a platform for uh, just all positive things, you know, happy news, uh, praying for one another, good things you like about your church. Uh, just, you know, no negativity. I want, I want positivity there. Wow, I mean, that will be amazing. I love that idea. You <laughs> You must be pretty proud of yourself. Yeah, uh, I just wish everyone thought like you did. Well, oh, you must mean Chloe. What? Nah, I, I mean, yeah. It's, it's okay, Jesus told me about her. Did he? <laughs> really? Yep, and he also told me about the underwear and the street incident. Uh, did he say anything else? Yes. He might have mentioned what condition they were in. <laughs> I, 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 they were an old pair that I used like to wash my car with them. Uh, <laughs> I'm just pulling your leg. <laughs> Look, what matters is what you do next and who you choose to do it with. Mr. Mark, believe me, we appreciate all you've done for us, but we just keep ending up at the same dead end. Oh my God. See, she just sees everything going nowhere. But the world is changing every day. And so throughout time, so will we, so will our relationship. Right, like you losing weight, buying that new car, and that stupid, stupid hat. <laughs> Why don't you just tell me you found someone else? Because <laughs> there's no one else. I just want us to have fun, you know, like we used to. <laughs> See? There's just no reasoning with him. <laughs> uh, Tina, please stop. Kevin, I swear. <laughs> oh, dear. Uh, ah, ah, my wrists. Hey, uh, do you guys mind helping me out for just one second? Here, uh, you, you grab this. Kevin, you get this mop bucket right here. Oh, it's, uh, you guys are really sweet for helping me out. It's, you know, it's funny. Uh, you don't realize how tough life can be until a part of you feels like it's missing, you know? 
Usually I do my mopping with this hand, and this hand does the ringing. You know, God put them together because they're meant to work together. Like peanut butter and jelly, or multiple cat ownership and hoarding. Look at you two. God bless the both of you. Thank you for your kindness. Mm. Loving the teamwork. Ah, uh, uh, um, I'm gonna grab some ice. Don't forget to finish the halls and the kitchenette and the bathrooms. Thank you. Looking at me, boy. Yeah, looking at me, girl. Yeah, looking at me. Keeping that love, but you're looking at me. I keep it red, but they keep it coming. Nothing that bad. I can do you no harm. But if you're gonna make me mad, no, don't ever make me mad. Cause if you're gonna make me mad, make me bad, make me bad. Uh, um, yeah, uh, um. You must be Chloe. So how bad that I am bringing the shining. No, how bad that I would do you no harm in. How sweet. Laz, honey, you still talk about me? Uh, uh. I, I'm, uh, I'm Jesus. <laughs> sure. Jesus. Nice to meet you. Uh, this is my boyfriend, Reed. Boy. You'll have to forgive him. Very important call. Being the vice president of the bank is dad owns means he's always busy, busy, busy. But, uh, uh, I, I didn't, I didn't know you still went to, to, to church here. Church. Here. 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 Don't be silly, Laz. Reed's dad just asked if we would check in on attendance, see if there's any hope left for this old relic of prayers gone by. <laughs> and uh, it's not looking too good. Uh, anyway. I hear there's plans to put a new church in its place. It'll be a splendor for God and all to see. Uh-huh. Well, I guess we'll see anyone there. Okay. Won't be easy to miss. <laughs> oh. That was Chloe. Uh-huh. Is your new boyfriend how many layers he has? Makes you feel any better. I didn't care for any of them. But it looks like Riley's doing really good with the kids. She's definitely a godsend. Ooh, smells like we have a real winner over here. <laughs> you might want to save yourself and get on out of here. <laughs> Whenever I have a kid, I am not feeding my little lady whatever this little lady has been eating. <laughs> Ooh, oh my goodness. You're doing a great job, Riley. I don't know what I'd do without you. Oh, man. Hi. Hi. Oh, you're so cute. <laughs> Riley, please don't text or call while we're watching the kids. <laughs> oh my gosh, Margo is always so scandalous. She saw Tristan at the diner with another girl, but he already told me that he was meeting his cousins for breakfast this morning. <laughs> All right, all right. Let's make a truce here. Jimmy, I want you to go help Miss Riley. Okay. How many of you out there have little kids? Raise your hands. Little ones. And 
when they were little. How many of you had to tell them the word no? No, no, no. Poopy diaper! Jimmy, no! Poopy diaper! Easy, my child. Come here! Make sure we're getting all this. <gasps> Stop it right now, you unruly child. Whoa, whoa! Oh, I just love you, my little Tina Snookums. I love you, Kimmy Webby. Hi there. Oh, well, hello. <laughs> Hi. Uh, what, what can we do for you two young people today? Uh, offer a little helpful romance advice? Uh, no. No, no. We're making videos to help the church with some of their social media presence. And we were hoping you wouldn't mind us asking a question or two. We'd be happy to help. Great, okay. Have you guys had the chance to meet the new church handyman? You go, go first. first. Jeez! Jeez. <laughs> okay, I'll go first. As a matter of fact, Kevin and I were going to Friends of Faith for marriage counseling. Yeah, our communication wasn't just wasn't jibing up. <laughs> but it is now. And it's all thanks to Jesus. <laughs> After counseling one day, Jesus showed us how much fun working together really meant to each of us. And ever since he said that, we just felt love and warmth all over again. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus! <laughs> For helping us at Friends of Faith. You two should think about dating. Oh. Right in the mush. Yeah. <laughs> Gosh. Is it bad that I'm enjoying this? Ah, uh, no. No, no, no. This is, this is, uh, this is pure. This is pure comedy. Uh, would anyone like something to drink? Oh, I'll take a glass of wine if you have any. Please. Uh, I think we only have beer and water, but I'll take a beer, thank you. Uh, I'll go check. Okay. <laughs> so. Looks like we do have some wine. Awesome. We're in luck. I was actually able to find some red wine. Awesome! Thank you. There you Thank go. Thank you. Mmm, that is really good. Who makes it? I do. Uh, I mean, uh, I, I do some home brewing. Oh, well, I hope there's more because I think I'm gonna want another glass. I, uh, I can make as much, I mean, I can uh, get as much as you'd like. There's Plenty in the fridge. Oh my gosh, you guys are not gonna believe this. What's that? This video of the diaper is going viral right before our eyes. Wait, all of the videos have gone viral. Jesus, oh, oh, oh Lord. I met Jesus at Friends of Faith. You might say he gave me the fuel I needed to travel down the righteous roads of life. And the man knows his tools too. <laughs> well, I tell you, that's my Jesus. Ha! Do you remember talking to that guy? Uh, <laughs> yeah, I do. He's a good guy. Actually, he's a decent mechanic. I showed him a picture of your hoopty, and he thinks he can help you out. Jesus. What? Oh, no, no, sorry. Uh, not you. Uh, do you mind? Oh, sure. What do you think is going on? I didn't think to go and check this yet. I thought it'd be way too soon. Too, too soon, soon for what? what? Uh, s sorry. This is a miracle. What, what is? is? Uh, sorry. It's 
Friends of Faith has over 300,000 followers. Oh my dad! That's more followers than Moses had! I... I wonder, I just wonder, hang on. Wonder, wonder what? what? <laughs> okay, you're gonna have to work on your communication skills if this thing between us is gonna work out. <laughs> um, when I, when I set up the site, I didn't think it would be a bad idea to put a donation function just in case anyone visiting wanted to help out with the cause. <laughs> I, I have to call Pastor Mark and tell him the good news. Laz, hey, what can I do for you, son? Uh, uh, where to start? Is everything okay? N no, it's, it's, it's more than all right. The, the social media site's blowing up. Uh, tons of people are following the church and, and watching all the videos. Okay, so that's good news, right? Uh, what are we talking? One or maybe 200? <laughs> no, sir, try, um, try over 300,000. 300? Thousand? What? What? No, Three hundred thousand, and, and that's not even the best part. There's more? <laughs> yes, sir. Try twenty-five thousand more dollars. That is. Twenty-five thousand dollars? Is that what we have to pay for those followers? <laughs> no, 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 sir. That's that's what those followers are donating to the church. <laughs> Praise the Lord. I can't hardly believe this, Laz. Well, believe it, because it's real. Uh, do you think this will be enough to keep the bank happy until we get some more? I don't know, but, but I'm going to call Jack first thing in the morning and find out. Praise the Lord, Laz. God bless you. God bless you. Siri, Siri, you're not going to believe this. I tell you what, Mark, I'm so glad this worked out in the church's favor. I was pulling for you <laughs> the whole time. I appreciate that, Jack. Hey, you stick around for service today? Wouldn't miss it. Yeah. Uh, wife's saving us a place right up front. Well, that's good. Good, good, good. That's good. Okay, I'll see you in there, man, okay? All right. That little fellow looked happy. Yeah, I'm not sure it's because he got his check or because he's actually rooting for us. <laughs> it's probably a little bit of both. So, how's that preacher voice coming along? Looks like the perfect crowd to try it out on. Huh? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, to be perfectly honest with you, I'm scared to death. Why would you feel like that? I thought this is what you've been working towards all along. I just keep thinking about I don't know how my dad would have handled this big moment. And what'd you come up with? Always I seem to come up with something different than what I think I should do. Listen, you've always feared that you shared something with your dad. But you're only here today because that memory brought you here. I can't even remember. <laughs> Mark, you're not your dad. You're your father's son. And that's it. You're a reflection of him, just like he was to his father. Dude, you get to decide. You get to decide the best parts of him, the parts of him that get to live on. They get to live on in this church, this, this church that you now lead. Looks like you have a full house out there. Oh, hi. <laughs> it's gonna be okay. I think you're gonna do great. You better be in place in about 10 minutes. Yeah. I love you. I love you too. Oh, and hey, don't forget to break a leg. Oh, 
Dad gum it. Gotta get a pen now. Jeez. Hey! Looks like we've got a lot of people coming to church today. Yeah, it sounds like it's gonna be a full house. Yeah, maybe you and your videos may have something to do with it. Look, we were only trying I to... I know what you were trying to do. I watched all your videos this week. It might have started out as a prank, but the videos started getting so much attention. Yeah, we just didn't think we should stop. Well, I guess it's a good thing you didn't because what started out as a prank made all these people interested in Jesus. You want us to stop? Because we really enjoy doing this. No, but next time, maybe use your talents with good intentions first. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. All right. Let's see what you got here. He looks so excited for the service today. <laughs> we'll see you in there. Help! Help! <laughs> I just came in to get some pants. I mean, really. Ah! Oh, ah! Oh, gosh! Lord, why does everything have to be so difficult every single time? Ah, a memory that helped lead you here. Why are you so hard on him? Because leading a church, leading a congregation, is not an easy thing. Sure. But to insist that you lead just the way you do. It's the way my daddy taught me. And I suppose that's the way you continue to preach today. Come on. No, but it's important that he understands our history. History, mystery. Things are changing and will continue to change, just like when we were kids. <sighs> Remember all the disagreements you and your dad used to have I think you forget sometimes that I've been around from the very beginning. Yes, dear. Well, is that what you want? No. Of course not. <coughs> then what do you want? I just want... I want him to be strong enough to develop his own voice so that he can experience the joy that I have serving the Lord in his church. There now, was that so hard to say? No, wake him up, we'll have a talk. Let him be, we'll talk later. I just thought that was something I wished her dreamed about. I, I, I gotta get out of here right now. I can't believe I'm doing this. This never ends well in the movies. Can you believe it? I mean, all the people out there. I know, I'm so proud of you. <laughs> I mean, your site brought all these people together. Well, I had a little bit of help. 
Yeah, but still, you had a dream and you're making it all come true. It was the moment I met you. That's when it all started coming true. Well, I guess I should go back to the kids. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, yeah. I'll see you. He'll love you too. <laughs> I mean, no, I, I love you. I, I've known that since I met you. I, I haven't, I, I haven't cared for anyone as much as you, and I, I don't feel the way I feel for you for anyone else. <laughs> well. I mean, I, I feel the same way. <laughs> you, look, you look nice. I, <laughs> she, she said she loves me. I, I, I mean, she didn't say it outright like I did, but, but she inferred it, right? Like, like you, you, would, you would say she inferred it. Yeah, I'd say so. Yeah. yeah. And I mean, I don't know, I just feel like all my dreams, all my hard work, they're, they're, they're coming together and it's, it's all because of you, Jesus. Yeah. Yeah, I'm uh, pretty inspirational. Here I am going on and on about my successes and, and you know, girls telling they love me or inferring it. And I feel bad. I feel like I haven't been putting enough time and effort or, or energy into figuring out your purpose, you know? You know? <laughs> Jesus. I, I know. I get, I get that, that a lot. lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but you can't be looking like that going out there with all those people. <laughs> but you're not going out there, are you? No. No, I'm sorry, Laz. Uh, it's time for me to go. I have, I have a lot of things to do. I have to get ready for Christmas and then Easter. And uh, I don't get any time off. You know, that glutton Santa, he gets most of the year off, but but not me. You know, after Christmas, it's Easter, and I gotta help the giant bunny hide a bunch of eggs. It's a whole ordeal. I... Do you really? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, Laz, I don't. But I thought, I thought your purpose was supposed to, you know, we were supposed to find out what you're supposed to be doing down here. <laughs> it was you, Laz. You were the mission. I'm just some computer geek. <laughs> yeah, yeah you are. But you're also so much more. My mission was your mission. Look at everything you did here for this church. And church is everywhere. You got people to believe in me again. You made people believe in me and God and faith and everything it means and stands for. <laughs> I did that? <laughs> yeah. And there's much more to come. W won't I need you there that too? Um, maybe not as close. But I'll always be there, by your side. Just like I am for everybody. Whispering encouragement. Up until now, you haven't been listening. <laughs> but, you know, that's how it goes sometimes. Now it's your turn to encourage people, rally believers, and keep faith alive. I'll try my best. We know you will. Well, you better get out there. Pastor Mark still needs you. Gotcha. <laughs> Go on, get out there. Siri had to say, break a leg at this point. I hope that's all I break. I'm falling for Jesus. I'm falling for Jesus. He's the reason I get up again. I'm falling for Jesus.
I've seen Pastor Mark. Uh, I thought he'd be here by now. Tell him to break a leg. What can't he break? Uh, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. This, this is what the Lord says. When someone falls down, he gets back up. Yes, he does. And when someone turns away from me, he returns. Jeremiah 8:4. Thank you, Jesus. And do you know why? I know that's true. Jesus is a friend of mine. Jesus is my friend. Jesus is a friend of mine. I'm a friend in Jesus. Jesus is a friend of mine. Jesus is my friend. Jesus is a friend of mine. I'm a friend in Jesus. Jesus is a friend of mine. Jesus is my friend. Jesus is a friend of mine. He taught me how to live my life as it should be. He taught me how to turn my cheek when people laugh at me. I've had friends before. And I can tell you that he's one who will never leave. Jesus is a friend of mine. Jesus is my friend. Jesus is a friend of mine. I'm a friend of Jesus. Jesus is a friend of mine. Jesus is my friend. Jesus is a friend of mine. He taught me how to pray and how to save my soul. He taught me how to praise my God and still play rock and roll. The music may sound different, but the message is the same. It's just the instruments who praise His name. in the world are they getting so many followers? I have no idea. Probably somebody, somebody went to Candy Cane Crucifix. Oh, nobody would even do that. I do, I do know they're taking a meeting with this fella. Well, call him. we got to get out of here so we're going to miss our own service. Let's ring in. Byron, by God, lots at your service. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Jesus is a friend of mine. Jesus is a friend of mine. Once I tried to run, I tried to run and hide. But Jesus came and found me and he touched me down inside. He is like a Mountie. He always gets his man and he'll zap you any way he can. Zap! Jesus is a friend of mine. Jesus is a friend. Jesus is a friend of mine. I have a friend in Jesus. Jesus is a friend of mine. Jesus is my friend. Jesus is a friend of mine. He loves me when I'm right. He loves me when I'm wrong. He loves me when I waste my time by writing silly songs. He loves me when I'm quiet and I have nothing to say. He'll love me when I'm perfect if I ever get that way. Woo! Jesus is a friend of mine. Jesus is my friend. Jesus is a friend of mine. I have a friend in Jesus. Jesus is a friend of mine. Jesus is my friend. Jesus is a friend of mine. Jesus is my friend. Jesus is a friend of mine. Jesus. Jesus is a friend of mine. Jesus is a friend of mine. Jesus is my friend. Jesus is a friend of mine. I have a friend in Jesus. Jesus is a friend of mine. As it should be He taught me how to turn my cheek When people laugh at me I've had friends before And I can tell you that He's one who will never leave you flat Jesus is a friend of mine Jesus is my friend Jesus is a friend of mine I have a friend in Jesus Jesus is a friend of mine Jesus is my friend Jesus is a friend of mine I have a friend in Jesus Jesus is a friend of mine Jesus is my friend Jesus is a friend of mine Right. He loves me when I'm wrong He loves me when I waste my time by writing silly songs He loves me when I'm quiet and I have nothing to say He'll love me when I'm perfect if I ever get that way Jesus is a friend of mine Jesus is my friend Jesus is a friend of mine I have a friend in Jesus Jesus is 